Hello family, welcome back to the channel, where we dissect the wildest and most spectacular moments in boxing history. Today, we have an incredible topic that is sweeping the boxing community. The official face-off between the champion and the unbeaten Floyd Money Mayweather, and none other than the knockout King Tank Yvonne Davis. Yes, you read correctly, the mentor and the pupil faced off in a match that was nothing short of explosive. It was the much-anticipated showdown, and things got heated. Before we dive into the details of what happened, let's establish the scene. Floyd Mayweather, the man who retired with a perfect 15 Nero record and made the defense look easy, has been a mastermind in the ring, taking out opponents like a math problem, but he's not just any retired champ, he's the one who's been pulling the strings behind the scenes, especially in Tank's career. On the other side, we have Jaunty Davis, a fierce force of nature with an incredible 94% knockout rate. This man's fists are like dynamite, and he's been leaving a trail of destruction in the ring. He's always been under Floyd's shadow, but he's here to prove he can be the king of the ring and not just the music prince. What happens when these two massive egos crash into each other to put it simply? Sparks flies temper flares, and things get dangerously close to blowing up. We know that these two have always had a heated rivalry, and that Tank has always wanted to dance with Floyd in the ring. This is Tank's opportunity to prove to the world who is the better. Everyone is eager to see that showdown. Fortunately for boxing fans everywhere, that mega fight will happen sooner rather than later. Yes, you heard correctly, Davis himself disclosed that this matchup will occur later this year. Whatever you name, they might be in the New Deal 7 fight deal. If I mention some fighters, can you say yes or no? The deal is a tribute to the years of many boxing fans who get to see you compete for many more years. Indeed, Shocker Stevenson, yes, Ryan Garcia, indeed, Devin Haney, that is Ack, Cruz. Yeah, but two people have already defeated me, although Errol Spence defeated Floyd Mayweather outside the ring indeed, September does not include T. Lopez. Indeed, among all those men, who do you consider to be your most formidable opponent, Floyd Mayweather? The rivalry between the two of them could not be more icy. Floyd has always been the boss and the one in charge of the show, but Tank is tired of being the underdog and wants to be seen as more than just a sidekick. The face-off with Daz was meant to be a light-hearted promo, but as soon as they locked eyes, something changed. There was tension between them, and from the moment they sat down, Tang didn't just look at Floyd, he stared him down, almost as if he was daring him to say something disrespectful. Of course, Floyd being Floyd, he wasn't going to back down, the man knows how to play mind games, and he was playing with Tang's emotions. Gervin Davis was pumped up and prepared to fight. He had been waiting years for this confrontation with Floyd Mayweather. However, things quickly descended into pandemonium, requiring security intervention to prevent a blowout. Tension was over the roof as Davis leaped from his seat, appearing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Floyd. It was obvious that this rivalry wasn't for the cameras, this wasn't just a fight, it was personal, and things were about to get much worse. Wilder why all this controversy, and why is Floyd even thinking about leaving retirement to take on Tank? It's not like he needs the money, or rather, it's about pride, respect, and perhaps a small amount of worry that his legacy might not be as untouchable as he believed. Tank has been vocal lately about how tired he is of being in Floyd's shadow, how tired he is of being compared, and how tired he is of being treated like he's still learning when he's out there knocking people out left and right. He even revealed that he has a deal bigger than any Floyd has ever signed. Yes, you heard that right, the man they call Money Mayweather was outdone by his own student, and you can bet that did not sit well with him. It set you off like, I got to do that. Since many people are unaware of what Floyd has said, making you feel like it was a sub, as if he was subbing you like, Oh, like he was going at me, he was going at me, and I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. There was no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yes, that's what I was thinking, because I feel like I want to say love-hate, but it's like in the last interview you showed them love this week, it was whatever. 
But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things differently? Or what is it? No, he's just Floyd, and he never feels like he's about to pass me and I, and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait like when Floyd was a 29, you'll see, my friend. Yes, that deal I'm referring to, oh, that's deal, he doesn't know about it yet, but holy cow, that deal is bigger than his. And y'all are just, and I'm just publishing an exclusive that's greater than Floyd deal, so don't cap that looks like a lot of bread, and as Tank has been working on his own game, it will get even juicier. Who's guess? Floyd has been training with Shocker Stevenson, who is an incredible talent in his own right. However, the fact that Floyd has been seen in the gym with Stevenson giving advice and techniques is blatantly betrayal of Tank's music. Look, get this. Floyd has even been offering advice to Tank's possible opponents. Yes, he has been giving Frank Martin pointers on how to defeat Davis. If that doesn't sound shady, I don't know what does. It seems like Floyd is trying to set up a hit on his own man. And guess what? All of that advice was ignored when Frank Martin entered the ring with Tank. Go Tank said, You can get all the pointers from Floyd you want, but when you're in the ring with him, it's lights out. I remember you talking about doing the pad work with Floyd, and he said, You got the speed and the power to be a world champ. Frank was put to sleep along with the rest of them. You can hear that from anyone, but Floyd is Floyd. So what did it do for your confidence? It was motivational because, at the time, I wasn't even close to having the IQ that I do now, so I was just really relying on my natural athleticism. So when he told me that, I was digging deeper into my bag to try to understand the game. It's not like basketball where you have to rely on people. It's not like football like the work that you put in reflects directly with your results. People don't even know the amount of hours that y'all put into this. We don't have a backup plan. If we have a bad day, nobody can rescue us. It's all on you. So what's Floyd's problem? Why would he risk his legacy and reputation by returning to the ring? It's not just about money, the man is practically flush with cash. It's about respect. Floyd feels like Tank's been throwing shade as if he's not getting the props he deserves for building Tank's career. And let's be real, without Floyd, would Tank be where he is today? Probably not well, my thing, my thing, is I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him, and over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great and numb. But over the years, is constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, Take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, a constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um go as far as he can possibly go. That's all I ever did. And you know what Floyd Camp is already talking, smack saying Tank's going to hit the canvas early if they ever step into. The ring tanks coach Calvin Ford has clapped back saying karma's coming for Floyd and it's going to be brutal. I also want to talk about the Floyd situation. You know that Floyd is Floyd, just like I say that Tank is Tank Man. But at the end of the day, you know that the man is pursuing greatness, and you should support him. I always tell you to support him because you know that it's a difficult road, so pay attention, man. I don't like to use the word Cal, but our Lord knows that he knows that he knows. And that's all from today's video. The story will reveal themselves, but again, that's how you burn bridges. Someone said that they can't stand the true colors of a person that's coming out. In order to ensure that you never miss our future films, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell symbol if you appreciated it. You may also express your ideas in the comment box. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.